Here's my honest artist review of DistroKid versus TuneCore versus CD Baby. Now let's start with DistroKid versus TuneCore because I use TuneCore and I love them, all right? But DistroKid is much less expensive, okay? They really are. Um, TuneCore charges $49.99 per album per year, okay? Um, the first year is only $29.99, but after that, it's about $50 bucks per year. Now, DistroKid charges $20 per year and lets you upload unlimited songs and albums. Both services allow you to upload to the stores and give you 100% of the earnings, which is awesome. But honestly, as time goes on, the more albums you release, so the first year, you know, it's $29.99, but then you release another album, it goes up to $50. And then if you release another album, and I have 10 albums, so I'm probably giving uh, TuneCore about $500 per year. Where with DistroKid, I could be only giving them 20 bucks per year. So I could be saving myself an extra $480 plus. Again, I've been doing this for over um, 20 years. I've got 510,000 monthly listeners. Um, and again, I'm Manifest from Smart Music Business. But now let's look at CD Baby. And again, I'm not trying to bash TuneCore. I use them right now, okay? And I'm just starting to move some of my stuff over to DistroKid. But let's look at CD Baby. And I love CD Baby. They're great people, all great companies. I think they really are, you know... For the artists, I just think DistroKid is really on the cutting edge right now, uh, allowing you to split the master, allowing you to do a lot of things, and they're more nimble and able to kind of be on the cutting edge of things. But I know CD Baby, Kevin, all the people there, I know a lot of people over at TuneCore, great people. I'm not bashing them at all. I'm just showing you the numbers, okay? CD Baby, no annual fees is what they're touting. And they show you everything you're getting, which all businesses should show you what you're getting. But then if you keep going down, keep going down, keep going down at the very bottom, we charge a one-time fee per release with no annual fees. We keep just 9%, okay? And unfortunately, that 9% is a lot of money, all right? Let's kind of look at the fees here, all right? So if I make, uh, let's just say, you know, even $10,000 a year, all right, times 0 .009, that's 90 bucks. Okay, ninety dollars a year, and you know me personally, I make a lot more than ten thousand a year from my music. It's more like ten thousand a month, um, and uh, so that would be a lot of money that they would take in. So I think if you plan on being, you know, a really big artist and making a lot of money with your music, unfortunately, I just don't think um, CD Baby or TuneCore are the best way to go anymore. I think it's time to take a look at DistroKid and some of the things they offer. Um, they also show you here, um, I'm switching from a different distribution company to DistroKid, what's the process? And I want you to be very, very careful here. Okay, if you start trying to move your songs over, you wanna do it freaking slow and make sure to use the exact same metadata, the song titles, album title, and specifically ISRC codes. Or if I started ripping down my songs and moving them over to a different distributor, I could lose all the playlists that my songs are in. And that is not good. I did that a long time ago when I actually moved some stuff from CD Baby to uh, TuneCore, and I was making an easy 250 bucks, 400 bucks, just off this old EP, like really old stuff, and I moved it from CD Baby, and I did it wrong, and I lost all the playlists, I lost some of the micro syncs that they were doing for me, and all this stuff, just because I wanted to have it all in one house, and I should have just freaking left it there. But, um, you know, that was my mistake, so I had to be careful with that. But um, I'm, I'm moving my stuff over to DistroKid again because um, I love the fact that not only it's cheaper, but they can also split the master. And that's really, really important. When I do songwriting uh, collaborations with other artists and producers, sometimes instead of me paying the producer a fee, we split the master 50-50. Well, instead of me, you know, getting all the money and then having to pay out all the time, DistroKid just does the splits for me, which is awesome. So, again, not trying to bash anything here. Um, just love love these guys and uh, really appreciate them. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to make money. If you want more coaching and help and uh, to grow your music business, please visit Fanbase University, where I do coaching calls every single month and would love to work with you and help you grow your business. Go to fanbaseuniversity.com or you can go to smartmusicbusiness.com and um, I'd love to help you out there. Have an awesome day.